Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Thursday. Well, they all turned red with the small cap Russell 2000 down by the most around six tenths of a percent. The S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and the Dow were all down by less than a half a percent on the day. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors of the day, just one of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher. Consumer staples, which was up almost one and a half percent. Consumer discretionary was the biggest laggard, falling roughly eight tenths of a percent. Looking at some stocks on the move, Walmart opened at a new all time high this morning after investors rallied behind an impressive earnings report. The company posted adjusted earnings of 60 cents a share ahead of estimates for 53 cents and saw revenue of $161.5 billion. CEO Doug McMillan said customers' persistent demand for value drove the results. Walmart closed up 7%. Shares of Chubb Limited also rose to a new all-time high today after news that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway had acquired nearly 26 million shares of the insurance and holding company. The move makes Chubb Berkshire's ninth largest holding as of the end of March. Shares of Chubb are up more than 30% in the past year. And finally, Applied Materials closed out the day down 1.5% and is continuing its tumble after the bell following its earnings report. The company beat analysts' estimates on revenue and earnings per share, but revenue was actually flat year over year. The CEO says the company continues to deliver strong performance in 2024, with fiscal second quarter revenue and earnings toward the high end of the guided range. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. Fed speakers highlight tomorrow's calendar as we have Christopher Waller and Mary Daly expected to speak. And we also have U.S. leading indicators coming at 10 a.m. Eastern. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.